regards to treatment options, um, you know, I'll speak kind of from the rheumatic side of treating interstitial lung disease, um, using scleroderma as probably one of the prototypical um, rheumatic diseases in which we see interstitial lung disease. The therapies that we presently use are immunosuppressant drugs, specifically mycophenolate, mofetil. There has been some studies, well, there's been two particular studies um, of interstitial lung disease and systemic sclerosis that we base our management on. So the initial study, um, it's called the scleroderma lung study one, evaluated cyclophosphamide versus placebo and did find benefit in regards to um, reduction in the progression of interstitial lung disease when evaluating cyclophosphamide versus placebo, for example. The second study um, compared mycophenolate with uh, cyclophosphamide and determined that there is really no difference between those medications. So the conclusion is that mycophenolate really is as effective as cyclophosphamide, which has previously been shown to be of benefit when compared to no drugs at all. And uh, mycophenolate has a better toxicity profile, so that really is our standard uh, when we decide that a patient does need to go on immunosuppressant therapy. Uh, mycophenolate, for example, this would be our first line in scleroderma. So within the rheumatic diseases, um, other immunosuppressive treatment options for interstitial lung disease, um, it really, it's guided somewhat by the actual rheumatic disease that's underlying the interstitial lung disease. So for example, we also see interstitial lung disease in the context of inflammatory myopathies. And we've found that um, in these conditions, we're able to use other drugs such as azathioprine or imuran or rituximab. Um, and so these will be um, medications that we can also employ um, in the treatment. Um, within scleroderma, again, mycophenolate is, is our, really our standard um, medication that we'll use first line for treatment. Some of the lifestyle habits, I guess, first and foremost would be stopping smoking if that is uh, something that patients are doing. Um, other, other things would be really management of gastroesophageal reflux disease. So whether that usually is a combination of medications, but also lifestyle changes, which can include um, reducing caffeine, or reducing any carbonated beverages, um, trying to eat smaller meals throughout the day instead of a few large meals, and really trying to separate the timing of meals to bedtime to try to reduce those symptoms. Other modalities that we'll use in interstitial lung disease um, will be uh, pulmonary rehabilitation. So this has been shown um, in studies to affect uh, walk distance, for example, um, and, and health-related quality of life. So some of those are kind of our non-pharmacologic modalities for managing that can at least improve patient symptoms and, and can be associated with improvements in, in one of our parameters of monitoring, which can be the six-minute walk test.